<laughs> this rock is reserved for me! Almighty Naruto, the fifth Hokage! <laughs> Naruto again? Up with the stupid pranks. Looks like he drew his own face this time. Oh, that disrespectful little... Look at that. I can't believe they let him graduate from the academy. Our hidden leaf ninja have really gone downhill. Is he okay? I mean, think about what he is. Don't even go there. Oops. Uh, uh, sorry. Ah, shut up already! <sighs> what are you doing? How big a fool are you? Uh, Iruka Sensei! Hey! Iruka Sensei! <laughs> Naruto, you just graduated. Why would you do that? Well, I thought it was a nice way to commemorate my graduation, you know? <laughs> uh. You erase all of that graffiti right now! <laughs> I'm going! Unbelievable. <laughs> You're about to become a Genin, you know? I'm worried about your future. <laughs> this is the last day you'll have to worry about me, Iruka Sensei. Huh? Check this out. From now on, I'm gonna work my butt off to become Hokage. <sighs> uh, <sighs> and I'm gonna surpass all the Hokage before me. <laughs> Naruto. What are you talking about? Becoming Hokage is not as easy as you think. <laughs> Just watch me, Iruka Sensei! <sighs> Where does all that confidence come from? I'm gonna work my butt off! You'll see! Good grief. The village hidden in the leaves in the land of fire. Therein lived a young boy named Naruto Uzumaki. As an infant, he had lost both parents, and the nine-tailed fox spirit had been sealed inside of him. His dream, as he grew up in the village, was to one day become the Hokage. Time passed, and Naruto graduated from the Ninja Academy together with his rival, Sasuke Uchiha, and his childhood crush, Sakura Haruno. Naruto became a member of Team Seven, a squad led by Kakashi Hatake. His life as a ninja had at last begun, or so he had thought. In order to test their strength as ninja, Kakashi summoned Naruto and the others to the training field. The purpose of this exercise is to test your strengths. The point isn't whether you win or lose. <laughs> Try not to get in my way, you screw-up. Hey! That's my line! Don't you get in my way, Sasuke! Let the battle begin! I'll take care of Firestar! Fireball Don't just stand there! I'll take care of Fire Scott! Fire Marcus! How'd you 
like that. That's my skill talking. Having proven their strength and teamwork, Naruto and the others became official members of Team Seven. Facing mission after mission, the trio began to show the signs of experience. At last, they were given their highest ranking mission to date, a C-rank mission. Naruto was overjoyed. However, upon reaching their destination, the Land of Waves. They were instead attacked by Zabuza of the Seven Ninja Swordsmen and Haku, user of the Ice Style. It was the first time he'd come face to face with a life and death battle. Naruto and Sasuke fought hard against the more skilled Haku. Don't get careless, screw up. His speed is incredible. I shall achieve my goals. You two must die. No way! There's no way I'm gonna lose! Not a chance! Let the battle begin! I'll take care of- Firestar! Fireball! <laughs> 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 Hokage! I can't let myself get flattened here! Naruto and Sasuke fought valiantly. The tide turned, and the two began to gain the upper hand against Haku. Meanwhile, a fierce battle between Kakashi Hatake and Zabuza Momochi was unfolding. The two had each experienced countless battlefields. The tension was so thick, it could be cut with a sword. Their two wills, their two techniques, clashed. A moment's weakness would spell death. I think it's about time we settled this, Kakashi. Sorry, but I'm gonna have to start getting serious now, Zabuza.
Let the battle begin! Come on! Okay. Zabuza, you can't defeat me! The tide of battle had begun to turn Kakashi's way. When the treachery of Zabuza's employer, Gato, abruptly ended the fight. Zabuza gave his life to take Gato down, and then collapsed in the snow. In completing their mission, Naruto and his friends had shown great improvement. Recognizing this, Kakashi recommended all three for the Chunin exam. The written exam, capturing the scroll, and many other tests awaited Naruto. But thanks to his indomitable will, Naruto soon made the finals. Only those singled out could participate in the final battle. Naruto was pitted against Neji Hyuga, said to be the strongest of the Genin. We are all given a destiny at birth, and it is pointless to fight against it. It is your destiny to lose to me. I don't think so! Let the battle begin!
against all expectations, Naruto was able to outmaneuver Neji and emerged victorious. The finals of the Chunin exam had been truly eventful, but then chaos descended. The assault by Orochimaru, chief of the Hidden Sound, and the betrayal of their ally, the Hidden Sand Village. In the blink of an eye, these two crises transformed the village of the Hidden Leaf into a field of carnage. Screams rose alongside plumes of smoke as the Hidden Leaf Ninja bravely fought. Atop Lookout Tower, there stood one who would risk his life to fight for the Hidden Leaf. The strings of history are mine to pull. Orochimaru. <laughs> Sarutobi Sensei, it seems we fight yet again. You may have once been my apprentice, but I will not allow this outrage. Let the battle begin! <laughs> Our bitter struggle ended, with Orochimaru seriously wounded and forced to flee the Hidden Leaf. But the village, too, had paid a terrible price. At last, the conflict subsided. But away from the village, in a remote corner of the forest, another battle was unfolding. This fight was between Naruto Uzumaki and Gara, the Hidden Sand Ninja. Gara seeking to find the meaning of his existence. Naruto seeking to protect those most dear to him. Their hearts full of conviction, the two prepared to clash. I live for myself and myself alone. A weakling like you can never hope to stop me. 
are people who rely on me. I can't. I won't lose to you. Let the battle begin. <laughs> 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 To protect my loved ones, I'll beat anyone no matter what! The battle was fierce, but Naruto persevered. Fighting to protect those most important to him, he triumphed. The destruction of the leaf had been averted, and peace returned once more to the village. But the battle had inflicted devastating damage on the leaf. They needed to urgently elect a new Hokage. Meanwhile, a mysterious organization had begun working behind the scenes. They were known as the Akatsuki. Targeting the Nine Tails sealed inside of Naruto, they raided the village. Quickly sensing that something was amiss, Kakashi and the others moved to intercept the attack. But the two ninja they found waiting for them far exceeded their expectations. One was an S-ranked criminal, Kisame Hoshigaki, of the Seven Ninja Swordsmen of the Hidden Mist. The other had once been a ninja of the Hidden Leaf. He had exterminated the entire Uchiha clan. He was Sasuke Uchiha's older brother, Itachi Uchiha. Two villains who trod the depths of the abyss. Kakashi and the others stood united against their combined menace. If you insist on getting in my way, I will have to destroy you. <laughs> Enough with the threats, Itachi. Let's fight them. Come and get it. I got your back. A moment's carelessness could mean your life. Asuma, Kurunai, be careful. Let the battle begin! Ready to go. <laughs> I'm getting excited. Come on. There. Leave this to me. What is Okay. Come on. I'm getting excited. Go. Get confused. Leave this to me. Go. Ready to go. Let's <laughs> go. I'm getting excited. Get confused. What? What? Here I go. Come on. Okay. Too slow. Come on. 
Incredible. So this is the power of the true successor to the Sharingan. Kakashi and the others were able to repel the Akatsuki's attacks. But news of Itachi's presence had reached the ears of his little brother, Sasuke. At this same time, in order to find the woman named Tsunade, next in line as Hokage, Naruto was leaving the village, together with his new mentor, Jiraiya. Their journey continued. Until one day, as they were resting along the way, the Akatsuki appeared once more. Their target was Naruto. The overwhelming powers of Itachi and Kisame descended upon Naruto. The outlook was grim, but just as disaster loomed, in rushed a single ninja. A ninja who had come for Itachi. A brother who harbored an abiding grudge in his breast. That ninja was Sasuke Uchiha. Sasuke, I have no interest in you as you are now. Itachi, I've nursed my grudge against you just like you asked me to. My only reason for living has been to kill you! Let the battle begin! You're mine! Jeez, here I come! You're mine! Jeez, here I come! You're mine! You're mine! You're mine! Get confused! You're mine! Take this! You're mine! Uchiha and... Driven beyond rage, it seemed that Sasuke would get the better of Itachi. But Itachi saw through each of his attacks. In the end, Sasuke was engulfed by Itachi's visual jutsu. The situation was dire. Luckily, Jiraiya intervened. Fully aware of Jiraiya's strength, Itachi was forced to flee. When the dust had finally settled, 
Sasuke remained in a comatose state. In order to save Sasuke, the two others hurried in pursuit of Tsunade. At last, they succeeded in finding her in Tanzaku Town. But there were others besides Naruto who had come in search of Tsunade. Orochimaru, who was seriously injured during the destruction of the leaf, and his underling, Kabuto Yakushi. Determined to protect Tsunade, Naruto Uzumaki stood in Kabuto's way and fixed him with a menacing glare. Naruto Uzumaki. Children should run along home before it gets dark. I won't run away! Just you wait! I'm gonna crush you! Let the battle begin! What? 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 Too slow. Sharper dissection! Protect Grandma too. With his defeat of the stronger ninja, Kabuto. Naruto Uzumaki had clearly shown progress far beyond what anyone expected. But this only made Sasuke drive himself harder. While once there had been a world of difference between the two, Naruto had matured quickly. He had begun to catch up to Sasuke. Sasuke, meanwhile, grew impatient for his own growth. He wondered if he'd ever gain the strength to defeat Itachi. Revenge against his brother. The bond with his friends. These were the choices he placed upon the scales. In the end, Sasuke Uchiha chose revenge. In order to gain power, he set off to join Orochimaru. Even if the road led into darkness, it was the path which Sasuke had chosen. However, there was one who would attempt to stop him. It was Sasuke's closest friend, Naruto Uzumaki. Desperately, Naruto followed. But along the way, he was met by a ninja dispatched from the hidden sound. The ninja, Kimimaro, had been sent by Orochimaru to stop Naruto. Impatience, anger, a storm of feelings raged in Naruto's breast. I won't allow you to reach Sasuke Uchiha. He is to be the vessel of Lord Orochimaru. Get out of my way!
Let the battle begin! <laughs> Naruto left Kimimaro behind and continued on. Until at last, the sound of echoing thunder meant that he'd arrived at the ravine known as the Final Valley. There, with his back to him, stood his rival and closest friend, Sasuke. Obsessed with his thirst for power, the Sasuke he had once known seemed lost forever. Naruto called upon their bond. But Sasuke had severed the bond from his heart, and Naruto's words fell on deaf ears. It was already too late. It was too late for words. But even if it took brute force, Naruto Uzumaki would bring him home. He clenched his fists. Naruto challenged Sasuke. I'm going to Orochimaru. He wants you for a host body! You think I'm just gonna let you go? Doesn't matter. As long as I achieve my goal, that's enough. You can't do this! I'll take you back by force if I have to! Let the battle begin! Say your prayers! <laughs> Too slow. <laughs> <laughs> 
They clashed with a violence that shook the valley itself. The battle between Naruto and Sasuke showed no signs of abating, growing fiercer and fiercer with every moment. One fought to keep his friend, the other to sever the bond between them. Naruto called upon the Nine Tails. Sasuke upon his curse mark. Both released their forbidden powers. A truly blood-curdling fight. The time of reckoning was at hand. You can't go to Orochimaru! I won't let you! It seems you too were harboring a secret power, Naruto. Still... Mine is greater than yours! You're coming back with me! Let the battle begin! <laughs> Think again. Think again. Watch it. Watch enough isn't it sasuke this fight is over
The sky was shrouded in darkness. The air thick with sorrow and rage. They inflicted terrible injuries on each other. Though their strength left their bodies, their emotions fought on. The long-awaited battle between the two had at last begun. It's time to end this. This battle. <clears throat> and all the battles we've had until now. Chidori! Rasengan! Naruto! Sasuke! Sasuke. What's happening? P Pervy Sage? Hey there. As usual, your wounds seem to be healing quickly. Huh? Oh. Yeah. It seems that Sasuke was a hopeless case. Training? That's right. You are now officially my apprentice. Within three years, I'll make you a full-fledged ninja. Huh? Then I can go after Sasuke again! But listen. Huh? Forget about Sasuke. He's gone. Sasuke went to Orochimaru of his own free will. No matter what you do, you will not change. But Sasuke is... Trust me, you should just forget about bringing him back. It's the tragic path of self-righteous fools. He may mean nothing to you, pervy sage, but Sasuke is my friend! Can you honestly call him a friend? Just look at what he's done to you. It's... He was destined to leave sooner or later. Don't blame yourself. Dismiss him from your mind and move on. To be a ninja, you need more than strength and jutsu. You must acquire the judgment to make the right decisions. If you want to live as a ninja, you must become smarter. This world is no place for a fool. That's the reality. I understand. Being smarter means what you say it does. I'll remain a fool my entire life. I'll create some incredible jutsu, and I'll rescue Sasuke no matter what! If you try this on your own, the only jutsu you'll come up with is some terribly smutty thing, no doubt. But... This is so colossally foolish that it might even work. We have a lot of work to do when you get out, so be ready, you incredible fool you. All right, then. Okay! So today's the day, huh? Yep. It sounds like you'll be away for some time. Mm-hmm. Naruto, let's go. Hmm? Right on! 
See ya! I'm off, Faruka sensei I'll pay you for the noodles when I'm rich and famous! <sighs> Naruto, go get him. You'll see. They shared a bond. And they were friends. But then, as if the road they walked were but a dream, they fell into slumber. All that remained to them then was the darkness. Was even their bond only an illusion? In the end, was friendship but a phantom mist? The eye is closed. The boy departs, pursuing hatred. Clutching at the shadow of his brother. Months, years pass. And he grows stronger. Eyes which lurk, waiting in their dens. See only the rage of the abyss. Hatred leads to revenge. And wrath to new despair. The tale of Sasuke Uchiha begins anew. The battle of the final valley is over. Sasuke Uchiha, having forsaken his best friend, in order to pursue the power needed to revenge the Uchiha clan against Itachi Uchiha, spends three years at the side of one who haunts the shadows, Orochimaru. Feeding on his hatred for his brother, Sasuke grows stronger, ever stronger. Biding his time as he waits for the moment to leave the den, Sasuke lurks in shadow. Until, 
an unexpected reunion occurs. In search of his former friend Sasuke, Naruto Uzumaki enters the den. As Naruto calls out to him, begging him not to break the bond between them, Sasuke feels his heart tremble. But all that matters is that he defeat his enemy. He reaches silently for his sword. My bond with you is still unbroken! Sasuke... This bond you share with Naruto and his friends, I want to see it for myself. I've no interest in any of you. Get lost. Let the battle begin! Right here! Let's go! Right here! Go! Right here! Go! Right here! Right here! Shall I cover for you? Right here! Shall I cover for you? There! Take this! Done already, Naruto? Strength, purpose, and basic feelings. From all angles, the gap between Naruto and Sasuke is wide. Having driven Naruto away for a second time, Sasuke prepares at last to fly forth from the den. His target? Itachi Uchiha. But there is someone else to whom Sasuke owes a farewell. His mentor and teacher, through whose motives winds the thread of evil. Orochimaru. Orochimaru, it's time for you to die. <laughs> I was just thinking that it's about time I took over your body. You really think you can? You're nowhere near as strong as I am. Let the battle begin! Right here! Ha! Ha! Oh! <laughs> 
You are being hunted. Hunted by the hawk that's about to take flight. Sasuke's strength far surpasses that of Orochimaru. When Orochimaru, now at a disadvantage, attempts to steal Sasuke's body with his reanimation ninjutsu, his strength is instead absorbed by Sasuke, and he is banished into the darkness. Sasuke at last flies from Orochimaru's den, gathering three others. Suigetsu, Karin, and Jugo, and naming the team Hebi. The goal of Hebi is, of course, revenge against Itachi Uchiha. In order to ascertain their target's whereabouts, Sasuke and the others go on the move. Along the way, they are confronted suddenly by the two known as Deidara and Tobi. Like Itachi Uchiha, they are members of the organization Akatsuki. Craving the information they possess, Sasuke places his hand on his sword, ready to attack at any moment. So this boy here is Itachi's little brother? A pleasure to meet you. Orochimaru lost to you? <laughs> You're just blessed with good genes, so quit acting so smug. Tell me what you know about Itachi. Let the battle begin! Right here! Now, tell me where Itachi is. The smoke and heat of battle engulf the land, until at last, Silence returns. Amidst the settling dust, only Sasuke Uchiha remains. Though Sasuke suffered his own injuries, 
he has defeated a mighty foe and learned the whereabouts of Itachi. The Uchiha hideout. Inside, Itachi waits. Barely able to contain his impatience, Sasuke approaches the place where his brother awaits. His traitor brother. He destroyed the entire clan. How Sasuke longs for revenge. A million feelings swirl in Sasuke's breast. Until at last, fate's appointed hour arrives. So you came, Sasuke. It's time I settled the score with you, once and for all. Such confidence. But even with those eyes, you see nothing. You grasp nothing. You're wrong. There is one thing my eyes see clearly. They see your death, Itachi. Let the battle begin! Right here! Right here! Yet. I haven't settled my score with him yet. The two brothers fight in bitter contention. As their two wills and their two jutsu clash, the tide of battle begins to flow toward Sasuke. That is, until Itachi plays his trump card, the Susano, and reverses the tide with a single stroke. Against the overwhelming force of Itachi's chakra, Sasuke faces impossible odds. It's time we settle this, Sasuke. <clears throat> this doesn't look good. Let the battle begin! Fire style, fire up! Oh. Right here! Right. Right. I see right through it! Oh. I see right, right here! Huh. Right. I've seen the record of all two of the between your power and mine. Fire 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 This way. Right here. Take this! I've seen 
right through this hut to my shield. Get right here! This juice is cute. Fire style, fire up. Fire style, fire up. Jutsu. Fire style, fire up. Fire style, fire up. Jutsu. I won. Now. As his life ebbs, Itachi uses his dying strength to bequeath his final wishes to Sasuke. Then he falls at his brother's feet. Weary, Sasuke too collapses, and when next he opens his eyes, a former foe stands before him, Toby. Toby reveals his real name, Madara Uchiha and he tells Sasuke the truth about Itachi Uchiha. Itachi's desire to purge the clan, what had it really meant? It was a lie. None of it was true. It had been a mission given him by the Hidden Leaf Village. All that Itachi had done, he had done for his beloved younger brother. Itachi, had not betrayed Sasuke. The truth shakes Sasuke to his core. Sasuke points his sword at the source of all his clan's misfortunes. Thus, in order to gain the strength needed to destroy the Hidden Leaf, Sasuke joins the Akatsuki, and under Madara's orders, sets out to capture the Eight-Tails Jinchuriki, Killer Bee. So you're Killer Bee. Ha! Huh, who are you? Fools, you fools! Eight-Tails, I'm here to capture you. Let the battle begin! Too slow. Give it a push, yeah? Swing it like a killer bee! Oh! <laughs> 
like this. I see right through you. Give it a push, yeah? Spin you like a killer beast. My rhymes, fool. He thought he was a comedian. But who's laughing now? After a fierce battle, Sasuke hands the Eight Tails over to Madara. The march towards the Hidden Leaf and towards revenge begins at last. The group advances through the forest. But new information obtained by Madara Uchiha forces them to change their plans. The information that Donzo, the ringleader who drew in Itachi, is headed now as the sixth Hokage of the Hidden Leaf to the Five Kage Summit in the Land of Iron. With Donzo as his target, Sasuke hurries toward the Land of Iron. Sasuke and the others break through the thick defenses and force their way into the Five Kage Summit. But awaiting them is Killer Bee's enraged older brother, the Rai Kage. And with him, a foe Sasuke fought once before long ago, the Kaze Kage, Gara. I'll avenge my brother. Kid, I'm gonna teach you to fear my fury. Sasuke. Do not flee into your own world. You may not be able to return. I don't intend to return. The only way left to me is that of revenge. Let the battle begin! You are ready! Too late! Too late. Too late. It isn't in your power to stop my hatred. Having repelled the attacks of Gara and the Raikage, Sasuke hurries toward Danzo. Heedless of the chaos around him, he seeks only Danzo. However, two more Kage yet stand in his way. The Mizu Kage and the Tsuchi Kage. The Kage are determined to punish Sasuke for his actions. They gather their chakra, ready to exterminate him.
Oh, such a fine young man. What a waste. I bear no grudge against you, but many ninjas seek your death. Get out of my way. Let the battle begin! My target is Donzo. Now get out of my way. Having fended off the Mizukage and the Suchikage, Sasuke pursues the fleeing Danzo. On the outskirts of the Land of Iron, the confrontation with his sworn enemy at last takes place. The man who manipulated Itachi, who brought despair, his brother's revenge is at hand. Sasuke's rage reaches heights unknown, and he settles his baleful glare upon Danzo. Sasuke, who overflows with dark impulses, and Danzo, who dwells in the shadows of the ninja. Two ninja who embrace the darkness. Their battle begins now. You did that to Itachi. Why, Itachi? Why bother to save such trash? Saving this boy's life was your ultimate mistake without a doubt. Do not speak of Itachi! Let the battle begin! Inferno style! Blame the monster! Ah! Get away! Break it! Win 
Brother, that's one I finished. Sasuke's hatred is stronger than Danzo's will. Despite all of Danzo's scheming, it is Sasuke who gains the upper hand. The Sword of Retribution finds its mark. Sasuke's vengeance is partly fulfilled. The battle ends, and silence descends once more. But the quiet is disturbed by the arrival of familiar faces. Team Seven, of which Sasuke was once a part, approaches. Sakura, Kakashi, and of course, Naruto Uzumaki. A separation from one who means so much to her. A resolution to destroy the pupil he should protect. As uncertainty wavers in each of their breasts, Sasuke and Naruto advance, step by cautious step. One has chosen a path through the abyss. One searches for answers on a path of faith. At the end of these two unwavering paths, here and now, their two wills clash. Sasuke! Why? I will destroy the leaf. Destroy it with my own two hands! Let the battle begin! Right here! 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 Right here!
Naruto, nothing you say will change me. The curtain falls on one battle, but the contest between Naruto and Sasuke did not end. The two glare into each other's eyes, until finally Madara appears and leads Sasuke away. Their paths now begin to converge. No trace of their bond is left to see. Yet Naruto's resolve to pursue Sasuke remains unshaken. And Sasuke, determined to brush away the hand that reaches out to him, pursues yet greater darkness. His eye is already devoid of light. He will be prepared for their next confrontation. Once more, Sasuke sets forth. What do you care? It's none of your business. I have my own path to follow now. Is this really Naruto? What's this power? It's overwhelming. What? Tell me, what are you? I'm your friend! Why? Why do you care so much about me? It's because I finally have a bond with someone. That's exactly why I'm going to... This will probably be my last jutsu. Kidding! Be gone with the thunderclap. That battle was all according to Itachi's design. He was deeply worried about you. He wept tears of blood and slaughtered his own flesh and blood for the sake of his village. But he couldn't kill you. Do you understand what that means? To him, your life. The walls. <laughs> Sasuke. <laughs> no, no. I am sorry, Sasuke, but this is it. We're gonna freeze out here. Let's go back. I'll bear the burden of your hate, and we'll die together. <laughs> What's wrong? Nothing at all.
Silent darkness. The past has been discarded. The old bonds are severed. The eye is shut. He sinks into the abyss. Hatred roars and bellows. The boy descends once more into the depths. To achieve his greatest ambitions, there can be no bonds. Friends are something he no longer sees. Water style, four shot shower! Dodge all of these. I stand corrected. is happy. Water style! Water shock bomb jutsu! Fire style! Fire bomb jutsu! It's over. With the Sharingan, you're able to find my faint shadow from behind and attack, even in the mist. Impressive, is what I'd normally say. <laughs> so you saw through me and used a water clone, huh? <laughs> it's been a long time since I've had to do this. <laughs> So happy to see you using that visual jutsu. Never thought you'd be serious enough to use Amaterasu like that. Too bad that visual jutsu uses up too much chakra. Won't that dash your hopes when going up against Sasuke after this? Why don't we call it a day? Just seeing you like this is satisfying enough for me. I didn't, I didn't want, want to, to fight, fight you like this. this. Look at you go. Can't remember the last time I sweated this much. I want to fight Sasuke one-on-one. -on -one. Do me a favor and keep everyone else out of it. <sighs> Fair enough. But still, it's a little sad parting with you like this after all we've been through together. Itachi Uchiha Blessed with incredible talent, he was foremost among the Uchiha clan, and his spirit was both noble and kind. In the end, 
Hitachi purged the Uchiha clan and fled from the Hidden Leaf, but his heart remained always with the Hidden Leaf and with his brother, Sasuke Uchiha. After joining the Akatsuki, there was a time when, fearing for Sasuke's safety, he returned to the Hidden Leaf. Itachi's homecoming. Among all the villagers, there was not one who welcomed him back. Naturally, he was greeted instead with violence. <laughs> Looks like they wasted no time in preparing you a warm welcome, eh, Itachi? Don't underestimate me. I'll fight you too. Itachi, why have you come back here? What were you thinking? My reasons are none of your concern. Let the battle begin! It's over. Leave this to me, Water Star. Water Shot on Jutsu. My turn. Fire Style. Fire Ball Jutsu. This will get more exciting. Fire Ball Jutsu. Leave this to me, Water Star. I'm getting excited. Come on, what's that? This'll work. It's over. Ah! Sukuyomi. Battling longer would be meaningless. Kakashi, you lose. Well trained as they might have been, there was none who could defeat Itachi. With his presence made known, Itachi fled the village quickly. But there was one other who had been disturbed by Itachi's appearance. It was his younger brother, Sasuke Uchiha, who harbored a deep hatred for Itachi in his breast. Perhaps that, too, was part of Itachi's plan. Even now, I am unsure. Either way, joined by blood, the two at last came to blows. I wonder what Itachi was thinking during their fight. Itachi, I've nursed my grudge against you just like you asked me to. My only reason for living has been to kill you! Sasuke. Let the battle begin! <laughs> <laughs> What? It's over. Here I go. You're mine. What? It's over. It's 
Why are you weak? Because you're lacking in hatred. At that time, the gap between Itachi and Sasuke was great. Sasuke fought well, but in the end, the battle was Itachi's. Defeated by his brother, Sasuke's hatred only grew. In order to turn his anger into strength, the strength to seek vengeance, Itachi planted the seeds of hatred in his brother before departing once more. It was hatred which would drive Sasuke to the next level. Truly, all was going according to Itachi's plans. Three years passed, and Sasuke grew in body and in strength. Perhaps Itachi was anticipating their final battle, which loomed ever closer. However, Sasuke was not the only one to mature. Naruto Uzumaki, of the Nine Tails, in order to return Sasuke to the Hidden Leaf, he too had made great strides. The Akatsuki was an organization that hunted the tailed beasts. Their battle with Naruto, who held the Nine Tailed Beast inside of him, was bound to occur sooner or later. I never expected to see you here. Don't even think about getting in my way! So, this is Naruto Uzumaki. Let the battle begin! Here we go! Leave this to me! Oh, Fireball to Empty It's over. Fireball juicy handed. Fireball juicy.
Huh. So he's growing too. I cannot tell you what Itachi was thinking. Though the fight against the Ninetales was going his way, he suddenly left, as if he'd only been testing the waters. In the end, Itachi's thoughts were his own. Then, only hours after his bout with the Ninetales, it happened. Itachi had waited for this fated day for his own brother, Sasuke Uchiha. In order to confront his brother and settle the score, Sasuke had entered the Uchiha hideout. Knowing this was his final battle, Itachi faced his beloved brother and accepted the challenge. Itachi... I'll sever my ties to you once and for all. Your eyes, they see nothing. They grasp nothing. You're wrong. Even now, there is one thing I can see clearly. I see your death, Itachi. Then show it to me too, my death. Let the battle begin! Right there! Fire! Fire up! What? Right here! Is this the end, Sasuke? Brother against brother, blood against blood, as expected. Itachi's visual jutsu far surpassed Sasuke's. The outcome of this battle was certain, or so it seemed. But Sasuke would not fall. Sasuke's powers were such that Itachi was impressed. With Sasuke's strength now approaching his own, Itachi drew forth his trump card, the Susanoo. The end of the battle was in sight. Itachi stepped forward, ready to bring it, finally, to a close. Sasuke, you've gotten stronger. Th this is... This is my trump card. 
The Susano. <laughs> this is the end. It's finally over. Let the battle begin! <laughs> This is the difference. This is the It's over, Sasuke. With his eyes and his jutsu, Itachi's ability surpassed those of any normal man. No opponent was worthy of him, not even Sasuke. But ability is not the only factor that determines who wins and who loses. Sasuke, were your eyes able to see through it all? My eyes... Mine... <gasps> Who he deceived himself for, and dishonored his name for, by killing the clan just to protect. Watch me train, you promised. It'll have to wait till later. Yeah. No. Sorry, Sasuke. Some other time. Father only cares about you. You're upset with me? <sighs> that's fine. To live life being hated, that's one path for a ninja. <sighs> but... It's just the two of us. I'll always be there. Like a wall you need to climb over. Even if it means being hated. That's what big brothers are for. A wall. Sasuke. Brother! Brother? Brother! Sasuke, but this is it. <gasps> it 
to the very end, to his very last breath. Itachi was concerned about you, worried about Sasuke Uchiha. He loved his little brother more than anything in the world, and gave up everything for you. And he still died with a smile on his face. This is the truth about Itachi, the life story of your older brother. Style, Water, Water Dragon, Dragon Jutsu! <laughs> you really think you can beat me in this mist? Don't make me laugh! What? Never thought anyone could get me from behind. Face the facts, Abuza. You can't win. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. You're the losers here. I'm sure you already know. Those brats of yours have no chance of beating Haku. They don't have the guts to kill anyone. But Haku is different. I've been teaching him battle skills since he was just a kid. He's a fighting machine with a deadly Keke Genkai technique. A ninja doesn't need feelings. All he needs is power. That's something you and those brats lack. You. What's the matter? You got behind me, didn't you? So bring it. <laughs> What's wrong? You scared now. Then... <clears throat> Allow me. Nice reflexes. That's what I like to see. <clears throat> A ninja doesn't need feelings. But Zabuza, a man like you should know. Even a ninja can't live without feelings, as a machine. You and that kid, you're both human. One of the seven ninja swordsmen and wielder of the executioner's blade, Zabuza Momochi. And the user of Ice Style, Haku. In the Land of Waves, these two faced off against Team Seven. Zabuza was following the orders of his employer, a man named Gato. As a mercenary ninja, he had attempted to suppress all emotion and would stop at nothing to fulfill his mission. But even the greatest ninja can't succeed in conquering their own hearts. That much was obvious. Even to you, Zabuza. A worm like you can't possibly defeat me. Zabuza, why would a man like you work for Gato? <sighs> In the end, ninja are weapons. And to achieve our goals, Haku and I will be the weapons that defeat you! Let the battle begin! I go! I go! I'll slice you up! Water style! Water dragon! I use Ha <laughs> ha! 
I can use it. Until I achieve my objective, I have no plans to stop. Zabuza's fury was overwhelming but it seemed to me that he was also struggling to erase his own doubts. Naruto and Sasuke, meanwhile, were tackling the other enemy, Haku, whose power had them sorely pressed. Haku was Zabuza's weapon. He followed Zabuza's wishes. All of his miraculous power he wielded only for Zabuza's sake. Darn! He's too strong. If this keeps up... Not yet. I'm not finished yet. I refuse to give up! I bear you two no ill will. I do this all for Zabuza. It is time for you to die. Let the battle begin! I will- uh, yes. uh, yes. What? Yes. Too slow. Hidden uh, I won't let you escape. Uh, 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 I won't let you escape. Uh, uh, Here I come. Uh, 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 what? Uh, what? Uh, uh, I got it. Uh, uh, I won't let you escape. Uh, I won't let you too slow. I won't let you escape. I won't let you escape. What? It's my the fate of a ninja. I'll defeat anyone who interferes with Zabuza, no matter who it is. Haku succeeded in driving Naruto and Sasuke to the brink. Sasuke fell, wounded, and only Naruto remained, his strength fading. Haku's victory seemed inevitable. However, seeing Sasuke's terrible wounds, Naruto rallied his strength, ready to fight once more. Haku faced off against the berserk and terrifying Naruto.
I'll crush you! Wh what is he? Let the battle begin! I got it! Uh, I won't let you escape! Fate of a ninja. I managed somehow, but this little one's power is. Naruto's fists were fueled by rage, but Haku managed to repel the attack. However, the continuous fighting had brought him to his limit. In a moment's weakness, Haku received the fatal blow. Realizing he was no match for Naruto, Haku felt his last moments approaching. Meanwhile, I was slowly but surely cornering Zabuza. Zabuza. I could clearly sense indecision in his attacks. His pride as a ninja and his bond to Haku. Though he might try to deny them, in his heart, it appeared, he felt differently. Full of uncertainty, Zabuza resisted to the last. However... It's about time we settled this, Kakashi. Zabuza, it's already finished. I'm not done yet. You're the one who's finished. Let the battle begin! I go! I go. What? Come on!
It's you who'll end here, Kakashi. I... Zabuza was indeed one of the seven ninja swordsmen, a man feared as a demon. Zabuza's attacks were fierce, and as the battle raged, he acquitted himself well. But in his heart, Zabuza had doubts about what a ninja should be, doubts which led to weakness. To cover for that weakness, Haku defended Zabuza with his very life. Defended him, and then fell. Haku had lived as Zabuza's weapon. As he watched Haku die, Zabuza's face remained calm. However, to Zabuza, Haku had surely been more than a weapon. The end of our battle was now in sight. I need only dispatch Zabuza and all would be over. But the situation suddenly changed with the appearance of another. Zabuza's employer, Gato. With Haku gone and Zabuza seriously injured, Gato decided that the mercenary was no longer of use to him. Using his other men, he moved to dispose of Zabuza and us. We tried to oppose him, but both Naruto's chakra and my own had reached their limits. Still, Zabuza faced his treacherous employer alone a gleam of defiance in his eye. His arms now useless, he grasped a single kunai between his teeth. Zabuza. Let me stay at your side. You really think you can beat this many of us by yourself? Zabuza, I'll help you achieve your dream. to him. Just hang in there. Kakashi. Hmm? Snow? Thank you, Kakashi. Is it you, Haku? Are you weeping? For so long. You were always at my side. The least I can do is be beside you at the end.
I know it cannot be, but I wish I could go where you have gone. You can go with him, Zabuza. Go to that place. Together. They shared a bond. And they were friends. But then, as if the road they walked were but a dream, they fell into slumber. All that remained to them was the void. Was even their bond only an illusion? In the end, was friendship a phantom mist? No. With effort, the boy dispels the void and chases after his friend. Months, years pass. The boy grows in strength as he returns towards the hidden leaf. His eyes are filled with confidence. A light that promises new hope. And a confidence that promises a new bond. The tale of Naruto Uzumaki begins anew. Sasuke Uchiha is gone. Naruto, having embarked on a journey with his mentor Jiraiya to gain the strength to retrieve his friend, returns at last to the Hidden Leaf Village after three years' time. Naruto reunites with Sakura Haruno, his comrade from Team Seven, and his other old friends. But the leader of Team Seven, Kakashi Hatake, appears intent on testing the results of their training in battle. With a gleam of determination in their eyes, both Naruto and Sakura make their way towards the training field. Ugh. 
I got a feeling I'm gonna have to take these guys more seriously this time. There's no way we can lose. All right, get ready for an education. Let the battle begin. Come on. <laughs> Sensei, did you see that? That's my training talking. Having proven their strength against Kakashi, Naruto and Sakura begin running missions as members of Team 7. Thus, a new era begins in the Hidden Leaf Village. Then one day, they receive an urgent message from the Hokage Tsunade to recover the Kazekage, Gara. And Naruto and others must head out into the wilderness. The Kazekage has been abducted by a mysterious organization known as the Akatsuki. Team 7 hastens toward the Akatsuki's hideout, but just as they are drawing near to their destination, Sasuke's older brother, Itachi, a member of the Akatsuki, arrives to stop them. And so Naruto faces off against Itachi and the power of his Sharingan. I never thought I'd meet you in a place like this, Itachi. You'll do me the favor of dying now. I'm gonna take you out! Let the battle begin! Over here, confused.
let myself get pinned down here? Having driven Itachi away after a fierce battle, Naruto and the others hurry on towards their destination and come face to face with Gara's kidnapper, Deidara. Facing his bitter enemy, Naruto Uzumaki bellows in rage. Deidara, however, remains unperturbed. And so, the battle for Gara begins. Akatsuki. You fools. I'll thrash you with my art. Hm. Give Gara back! Let the battle begin! I'll be able to save Gara. Having defeated Deidara, Naruto succeeds in rescuing the Kazekage. With good relations restored with the hidden sand village, Naruto returns to the hidden leaf. Unfortunately, there is no time for Team Seven to rest. Together with Yamato substituting for Kakashi Hatake as team leader, and a new member, Sai, Team Seven sets off at once for Tenchi Bridge, the site of their next mission. Reports have surfaced that an Akatsuki spy will be found at Tenchi Bridge. But what really awaits them is Kabuto Yakushi, the hidden sound ninja who's plotting to overthrow the Akatsuki. And Orochimaru, the villainous demon who holds Sasuke Uchiha in his thrall. Facing his sworn enemy Orochimaru, Naruto is overwhelmed with hatred. The Nine Tails beast inside him runs rampant at last. Its crimson roar rending the very heavens. Such interesting chakra. Let the battle begin! <laughs> Let's <laughs> go. 
Having witnessed Naruto's incredible power, Orochimaru abandons Tenshi Bridge. His rage quelled, Naruto and his team give chase, soon discovering Orochimaru's hideout. They infiltrate the gloomy underground lair. Suddenly, amidst the flickering light, an explosion is heard. Standing before their very eyes is the friend they have searched so long and hard for, Sasuke Uchiha. Naruto begs him to return with them to the Hidden Leaf. But, intent on revenge against Itachi, Sasuke remains unmoved, and their two wills clash. Sasuke, why? Only my goals matter. If you all insist on standing in my way, I will destroy you. Naruto. Ha! In that case, we'll just have to persuade you with brute force! Let the battle begin! <laughs> Shall I cover for you? Team Seven fights desperately against Sasuke. But to the very last, Sasuke refuses to listen. Together with Orochimaru, Sasuke disappears from before Naruto's very eyes. Believing now that even greater strength will be needed to retrieve Sasuke, Naruto begins studying with Kakashi in order to master new jutsu. Meanwhile, news has reached Tsunade that two members of the Yakatsuki are drawing near to the Hidden Leaf. Tsunade dispatches several squads to intercept the Akatsuki and destroy them. But against the powerful Akatsuki, they meet with defeat and death. Slowly and surely, the Akatsuki draw closer. But standing in the way of these intruders is their target himself, Naruto Uzumaki. So, you're the one with nine tails inside. Hm. This saves us the trouble of looking for you. I'm gonna finish this with my new jutsu! <laughs> Let the battle begin! <laughs> 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 Fire style! 
Great! I'm getting stronger! Thanks to the efforts of Naruto, Kakuzu is defeated, and peace returns to the Hidden Leaf. After a short rest, Tsunade gives Team Seven their next mission, to renew the search for Sasuke. In search of Sasuke, Naruto and the others head into the forest, where they encounter yet another member of the Akatsuki. Calling himself Tobi, he persists in provoking and annoying Naruto and the others. Do you jerks seriously think you can beat me? <laughs> no way! Not a chance! Are you sure he's really Akatsuki? Kakashi! Oh, come on. We don't have time to waste on this guy. If you're gonna keep getting in my way, I'll just have to remove you! Let the battle begin! Leave it to me! Go. Let me take it! Oh. Let me take it. Go! Leave this to me. I can go at any time. You missed me! Let me take it. Go! I'm empty-handed. I'll protect you by. Get out of my way! Having had his bizarre fun with Naruto, Tobi flees, leaving behind more questions than answers. With Tobi gone, Naruto and the others resume the search for Sasuke. In the end, they fail to find him, and return, discouraged and disheartened, to the Hidden Leaf Village. Every day, Naruto grows more and more impatient. Until finally, in a stunning blow, a tragic piece of news reaches his ears. His mentor, Jiraiya, has died in battle. Beset by sorrow deeper than he's ever known, Naruto's tears flow endlessly, and he sinks into a pit of despair. But his mentor must be avenged. Naruto rises once more. Greater power is needed. Intent on studying sage jutsu, Naruto heads for the land of the toads, Mount Miyaboku. Meanwhile, the Hidden Leaf Village is attacked by the Akatsuki's leader, Pain. Before Akatsuki's immense power, the village crumbles. Plumes of smoke rise from the rubble and the spreading devastation. But amidst the destruction, a single ray of light shines forth. That light 
Naruto Uzumaki has mastered the power of the Sage Jutsu. Pain. It is Pain who killed Jiraiya. Naruto's cry of vengeance shakes the heavens. You're Pain. You're the one who killed Pervy Sage! Your death will bring peace. Just allow yourself to be captured. <sighs> Let's finish this! Let the battle begin! Inherit my master's will. I'll win us peace. The battle which shakes both heaven and earth ends with Naruto Uzumaki's victory. Peace at last returns to the Hidden Leaf. However, great changes are afoot in the world. The villages can no longer ignore the Akatsuki, nor the Akatsuki's ally, Sasuke. The five Kage assemble to discuss their tactics. Naruto likewise leaves the Hidden Leaf in order to beg that Sasuke be forgiven. But along the way, he encounters an old Akatsuki acquaintance, Toby. Toby reveals his true identity, Madara Uchiha, and confesses that he is manipulating Sasuke. Thus the puppet master controlling Sasuke stands before Naruto, who clenches his fist in rage. The Nine Tales, Naruto Uzumaki. Let's see how much you've learned. I'll get you for what you've done to Sasuke! Let the battle begin! <laughs> Oh! <laughs> 
I don't care if you're Madara. Quit messing with Sasuke's head! Having tested Naruto's strength, Madara gives these parting words. Sasuke Uchiha shall strike the world with his hatred. Then, having toyed with Naruto's anger, Madara is gone. Sasuke is no longer the Sasuke Naruto once knew. What else can Naruto possibly do? Seeking an answer to this question, Naruto heads forth once more. His memories as a member of Team Seven. His bond with Sasuke. A million thoughts swirl through Naruto's mind. He dashes over land and leaps through trees until... Until he meets once more with Sasuke Uchiha. One who walks in light, and one who walks in shadow. Naruto is determined, at the end of his long journey, to find the answer he seeks. He must do battle with Sasuke. And what is that answer at last? You, Hidden Leaf, I will destroy you all! Just a little more, and I'll know the answer! I feel it! Let the battle begin! <laughs> Now it's all... clear. The curtain falls on one battle, but the contest between Naruto and Sasuke is not over. The two glare into each other's eyes, until finally Madara appears and leads Sasuke away. The two are now on a collision course. Sasuke stands, already, in the darkness. Even so, Naruto's resolve does not waver. Having traded blows with Sasuke, he now understands the will which guides them both. He will walk with Sasuke. He is determined now 
to fight for Sasuke. Having found his answer, Naruto's expression is compassionate. He will be prepared for their next confrontation. Once more, Naruto sets forth. You've got no parents, no brothers. What can you possibly know about me? You can't understand, so shut up! Sasuke, I... Hm. Just stay out of my way and don't drag me down, understand? You loser. What'd you call me? Here. Huh? Can't have you holding us back because of an empty stomach. <coughs> Why? <coughs> Why did you save me? I don't know. My body just moved. There was no time to think, loser. Naruto, you're the one that I want to fight. I don't ever want to see that again. My trusted comrades falling right in front of me. Your comrades? I want you to fight me right now. Why? What's wrong with you? Hey! What? Tell me, what are you? You're your friend! Oh, please! Please bring Sasuke back to ninja me! Ninja who abandon their friends are worse than scum. Sasuke's a ninja from the Hidden Leaf Village. He's our comrade. I'll put my life on the line for him. That's the Hidden Leaf way. Why do you care so much about me? It's because I finally have a bond with someone! Sasuke came to us on his own because he wanted to. I wonder who's stronger now, you or my Sasuke. You dare talk about Sasuke like you own him! Especially in front of me! My bond with you was severed long ago. Could you weigh Sasuke against the leaf on a set of scales? Humans are not capable of understanding. A true and lasting peace will never exist. He's the real thing. A true Avenger. It's time to end this. To end this fight. And all the fights we've had up to now! Naruto! There's too much hate in our ninja world. And each and every one of us battles that hatred. But still... I truly believe that the day will come when all people will live together in harmony. <clears throat> Naruto, I believe in you completely. I... I will never give up. Not now, not ever. You can count on it. I'll keep holding out my hand... until you take it. And we'll all be together again. A single ray of light to recover the many days past, pressing on toward a distant goal, strong of will and trusting in hope. With a gleam of strength in his eyes, the boy heads forth once more toward a better future. There was once a bond, and they were friends.
sure you are! Pervy Sage, when are we gonna start training? Hang on a second. Just let me finish this paragraph. What are you writing? Oh, well, uh, I'm writing about my life. It's called The Tale of Jiraiya the Gallant. Your life? The meetings, farewells, and various other happenings. I'm bringing them together in ink, along with what I've learned and which paths I've taken. Hmm. This will be the ultimate novel. I'm pouring my soul into it. So? And you're still not finished? When I'm finished writing this, everything will be finished. When I find someone to inherit my will, and I feel I've properly passed it on... Well... <laughs> I guess I'm not even close to finishing it. Uh, all this inherit your will talk? It's just making me confused. One to inherit my will. Perhaps that would be... Huh? What? <laughs> At any rate, I suppose that's enough writing for now. Next up... <laughs> Time to start training, huh? Time to get to the mixed bathing hot spring to find some material for the next installment of my makeout series. Uh, I thought you say training! You're still hung up on this mushy makeout material! Watch your tongue, boy! This sacred writing is nothing to make light of! How about some training already? Enough! I'm in charge and I will spar with you some other time! That's what you said last time and the time before that! So long, sir. Time certainly does fly, doesn't it? Seems like only yesterday we had that chat. Now my student has grown, and I'm getting old. I still don't know what lies ahead for me, but it's time to move forward. then. I'll continue when I get back. The final chapter. I suppose it's time to begin. Come to think of it, I've had a lot of apprentices in my time. Even students from other villages. Even one who went on to become the Hokage. But of all of them, the one who really took the cake, the crudest, most annoying, and stupidest of them all, was Naruto Uzumaki. Well, on top of that, because he had the Nine Tails sealed inside him, the deadly Akatsuki organization was after him. I decided to teach Naruto a new jutsu, so he'd be able to defend himself. That jutsu was called the Rasengan, created long ago by Naruto's father, Minato, the fourth Hokage. Now his son, Naruto, would have to master it. I felt the strong, time-tested bond between them, and I began Naruto's lessons. Everyone's going to be so surprised when they see my new jutsu. They'll finally have to accept me. Well, you certainly have the enthusiasm. But first, let's see exactly what you can do. Let the battle begin!
I look forward to your future development. Yeah, future. Naruto's strength back then, I suppose it was just about what I expected. But inside him was a strong will to move forward to the next level. Strength of will is the most vital thing for a ninja. With a strong will, there's no limit to how far one can go. After our training, Naruto steadily continued to grow. Part of him just wanted to get stronger. But the most important thing driving him forward was the thought of his friend and greatest rival. Nothing facilitates training so much as the presence of a rival. The bonds of friendship are vital to developing character. Naturally, after his friend Sasuke Uchiha left the leaf, Naruto vowed in his heart to follow no matter the cost. It was for this reason that he underwent three hard years of training with me. Time passed. Time matured Naruto, both in body and in mind. Was he strong enough now for real combat? I needed to test him for myself. Now then, time for your final lesson. It's time you prove to me, in battle, just how much you've learned. Haha, <laughs> then I hope you're ready for a clinic! Haha, <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Let the battle begin! Well, if you can do that much, you're doing well. That ends the training. Naturally, even though he had matured, Naruto was unable to defeat me. But it was true. He really had come far. There were still areas he needed to work on, but he got a passing grade. Naruto Uzumaki. If I may say so about my own apprentice, I know he walks the straight and narrow. Of all my apprentices, you really were the crudest, most annoying, and stupidest of all. But you were also the strongest. You were a ninja. I had a student who would carry on my legacy. I knew it, without a doubt. The Village Hidden in the Rain as soon as I heard that the Akatsuki's leader was hiding out there, I rushed over to learn more. It was a long time ago, but there were three children here who trained for a short time as my apprentices. 
They all cared for each other deeply, and I'd been certain they could lead us all to peace through their example. However, I never thought I would meet them again under conditions like these. One of my apprentices, Konan, now a member of the Akatsuki, appeared in front of me. Worshipping the leader of the Akatsuki as her god, Konan had all but lost the warmth I remembered in her heart. The Konan I knew, had she surrendered to darkness. As her teacher, the least that I could do was perform her final rites. My determination could not waver. If you're here, then are the other two here as well? Knowing that would be pointless. Your life ends here. Well, well, listen to you, Conan. Let the battle begin! For you! For you! Conan, why? Why are you with the Akatsuki? No matter how far she had fallen, fighting one of my own apprentices was painful for me. But my feelings could help no one now. Feeling sympathy for the Akatsuki would be futile. As my fight with Conan intensified, he finally appeared. The Akatsuki leader, Pain. He stood before me calmly. Pain. His true identity was Nagato, just as I'd expected. Like Conan, Nagato had once been an apprentice of mine. He had awakened the most powerful of the visual jutsu, the Rinnegan. Why? Why would someone with such promise surrender to the darkness of the Akatsuki? And more importantly, why had all the pains I'd seen, not just Nagato, carried the Rinnegan? My heart was troubled. But, there was one thing I did understand. The time for explanations was past. I had to stop him. Stop Nagato. Stop Pain. He may have been my student, but as an opponent, his strength rivaled my own. To win, I would need everything I had. In order to bring all my strength to bear against him, I summoned the two great Sage Toads and entered Sage Mode. This would be the decisive battle. Pain, 
Or should I say Nagato? What have you done? Sensei, you are merely human, but I am no longer a prisoner of humanity. I have become one who will show the way. A god. A god? You've got to be kidding me. As your god, allow me to grant you pain. Then the time for words is past. No more holding back. Nagato, I end your life today. Let the battle begin! Okay. I win, Nagato. The victory went to me. Though I pushed my chakra to the limit and my wounds were great, all that mattered was pain was defeated. I thank the two great sage toads. The battle was over. I could finally return to the hidden leaf. Or so I thought. He stood there. Pain stood in my way once more, as if nothing had happened. How had he done it? Why was he untouched? With the last of my chakra, what else could I do? Give up. You can't win. No. I've still got some fight left in me. You don't know when to quit, old man. What's the point? If I can defeat just one... Fine. Your destiny is to die here. <gasps> thought you'd hold on this long. Well done, Sensei. It's no good. I'm losing consciousness. Am I going to die? I'm... Never go back on my word! Never! That's my ninja way! Until I become Hokage, there's no way I'm gonna die! If being smarter means what you say it does, I'll remain a fool my entire life! Naruto. Yes. I remember Naruto. You never give up. Being your master, I have no... 
business whining. Because... Uh, 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 as everyone knows, a student inherits his ninja away from his teacher. Right, Naruto? Just what I'd expect from you, Sensei. Give it up. There's nothing left you can do. Trying to make me give up! This is the end of the tale of Jiraiya the Gallant. Looking back, my life has been nothing but failure. Rejected by Tsunade, unable to stop my friend, unable to protect either my student or my teacher. Compared to the great deeds of the Hokage, my actions are trifling, insignificant things indeed. And I have no legacy. No. That's not true. I... I have found someone to inherit my will, so I can rest easy. Right, Naruto. Sharing, laughs, being with you, is what gave me the strength to walk this path for so long. Thanks to your existence, my life really wasn't that terrible. My final chapter, a story of the frog in the well that knows nothing of the great ocean. <laughs> Just barely glorious, but glorious indeed. The story has come to an end. Now, it's about time I put down my pen. Oh, that's right. What should I name the sequel, I wonder? Let's see. The Tale of Naruto Uzumaki. Yes, that has a nice ring to it. You're done, Obito. Darn it! <laughs> nice strategy. Obito, there, two o'clock. Right. Fire style! Fireball Jutsu! <laughs> Huh? Hmm. Almost had me there. But, Sensei, how did you... <sighs> Blew it again. You've grown strong, the both of you. And I'm impressed with your teamwork. And now, for the next step... <laughs> what timing? 
Kakashi! Sensei, today's the day I win! You've been hiding so long. Is that your strategy? No. It would be too hard to fight you while watching over these two. That's why you were waiting for me to defeat them. enough to beat me. I'm not through yet. Shadow Claw. This isn't complete, but... Now I'll finish this. I told you, didn't I? You can't beat me. You lose, Kakashi. Wow. What incredible speed. That's when you... <clears throat> I'd already consider you Jonin class. If I hadn't set that, there's no telling how this would have turned out. But you're not ready. <sighs> I was so close. <clears throat> so close. <sighs> so close. Back then, I thought Sensei was acknowledging my skill. And I was close to becoming a true ninja. But I didn't know a thing about what it really means to be a ninja. I was... still just a kid. I had confidence in my own strength. Against any of my peers, or even those more experienced than me, I was convinced I couldn't lose. I was drowning in my own pride. But there was one person who was always ready to take me on. It was you, Obito. I remember that time when we were training. You were the same as ever. You don't understand what's really important about being a ninja! I don't want to hear that from a know-nothing amateur like you. What did you call me?! Time for your beating. Let the battle begin! Ooh, yeah. Let's go! Yeah. Yeah. Is everyone in the Uchiha clan this weak, Obito? At that time, there was a huge gap between Obito's skill and mine. Obito had angry words for me, but I didn't care. He was a sore loser. 
I turned my eyes next to Minato-sensei. Of course, my plan was to face off next against my teacher. Thinking back, there was something sad then in Minato-sensei's eyes. He must have known already what it was that I lacked. Sensei, today will be the day I finally beat you! There are limits to what any single ninja can do. Kakashi, you can't do everything on your own. But for a ninja, strength is vital. It's everything! Let the battle begin! Prepare yourself! Let's go! Think again! Just as I thought! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! A thing gun! I did it! I beat you, Sensei! Our practice that day ended in my victory. I knew he wasn't really trying to win, but still, I felt like I'd improved. When Minato-sensei looked at me, he still wore that sad expression. What did that expression mean? As a ninja, what was it I was missing? It wasn't until a little time had passed that I finally understood. Teamwork. That was what I lacked back then. Obito, you sacrificed your life to teach me that. The price was far too great. But the ideals you left behind still live on today. In my heart, and in theirs as well. Of course, they didn't get it right away. When they first joined my squad, they had some pretty tough times. Especially Naruto and Sasuke. Those two kept the word teamwork at arm's length. Just like I did, way back when. That's why I trained them through battle, like Minato-sensei did, to teach them what's important to a ninja. Naruto and Sasuke. I truly believed in their hidden potential. Don't get him Sasuke! That's my line, you screw-up! Come on, then. Show me what you've got. Let the battle begin! <laughs> okay. Come on! Come on! 
This is the end. <laughs> lightning play! Twin lightning shiver! Game over. Well, if you're that good, I guess you pass. For New Genin, they fought against me better than expected. The point wasn't to see if they could beat me. If they learned the importance of teamwork, then it was a success. Their results? I guess an a wouldn't be out of the question. After all, they understood what I was trying to teach them in their own unique way. Still, not everything went as smoothly as I had hoped. Obsessed with revenge against his brother Itachi, Sasuke parted company with Naruto and left the leaf. After Sasuke left, Naruto began training under Jiraiya and Sakura under the fifth Hokage. Each of them had their own new path to follow. But they were each motivated by a single purpose. Which is why when Naruto returned after three years, I decided to test them. I wanted to see not only how far they had progressed, but whether their teamwork had improved. To see how far they had truly come. All right, let's do this, Sakura! Kakashi-sensei, here we come! All right then, show me how much you both have grown. Let the battle begin! See, their hearts are... Incredible. They easily surpassed my highest expectations. It wasn't just their strength, but their character which surprised me. The two had the spirit of teamwork. Though years had passed, there were things that Naruto and Sakura would always remember. 
I knew now that the ideals we left behind would continue on into the next generation. The two of them were ready to be called real ninja, two ninja who had grown up straight and proud before me. I couldn't have been happier. Teamwork. Bonding with your comrades. Obito, Rin, and Sensei. All three of them taught me those essential points. And now, these kids finally get it. And it's up to them to pass on what they've learned to the next generation. The next era is just around the corner. And me? Well, sooner or later, I'll... There he is! Hmm? Hey! Kakashi-sensei! Come on. Lady Tsunade has a new mission for us. Let's go already! Right. I'm on it. But... I'd better keep an eye out just a little longer. I'll be back. What were you doing anyway, Kakashi-sensei? Huh? Well, how do I put it? Just spacing out again, I bet. Not exactly. Just thinking about life. I got wrapped up in my thoughts. Yeah, I see. <laughs> New missions rock, right? Aren't you psyched, Sakura? Aren't you? I am. I swear, you have a one-track mind. Yep, you know it. <laughs> Are you giving up? Are you really my son? <laughs> You're the fourth... Hokage. You've grown up, Naruto. Naruto, my name. But how? How? I'm the one who named you. You're my son, after all. Your son? Then you're... Yep, that's right. My dad. <laughs> my... My dad. <laughs> Naruto. Why? Why? Why would you ever put nine tails inside your own son? How could you put me through all of that? The Akatsuki are after me. I fought with them. And then I was so lonely. But I kept it inside. Forgive me. <laughs> to leave you alone all that time must have been terrible. I suppose it's little consolation for me to wear a fatherly face and apologize after putting you through all that. Dad. But I'm relieved. You relieved? You're bearing everyone's will. And you've grown up with a good head on your shoulders, just as I'd hoped for. Everyone's will? Yes. Just looking at you now, I can tell. You have the will of Jiraiya Sensei, Kakashi, the third Hokage, and all the people of the village inside of you. You're carrying it well, and you're moving forward. 
You think so? You're just like I used to be. Like you? That's right. I was bearing the will and wishes of all sorts of people myself. I was carrying something very valuable. Just like you are now, Naruto. Hopes, prayers, and dreams. I carried so many aspirations on my back. How would I meet all those expectations? I struggled with my worries and doubts. Nevertheless, I moved forward, step by single step, in order to leave something behind for the next generation. Most of all, I wanted my two charges, Kakashi Hatake and Obito Uchiha, to understand what being ninja truly meant. More than once, I spoke to them through my fists. All right, it's time you showed me your strength. Man, why do I have to fight you? Try not to get in my way, huh, Obito? Kakashi, you jerk. I'm gonna make you eat those words. <sighs> Let the battle begin! Teamwork needs work. Unless you fix that, you'll never... I already knew that getting those two to work together would be a problem. Especially Kakashi, whose skills as a ninja were already great. He didn't understand the value of friendship. If only Kakashi understood that, then he might become a truly powerful ninja. Come to think of it, it was my own predecessors who first taught me the values important to a ninja. Jiraiya-sensei especially, taught me so much. Even after I began standing on my own two feet, away from my teacher. More than once, as if testing my progress, we traded fists with each other. I remember when my selection as the fourth Hokage had been decided, I couldn't help feeling a little uneasy. So, you're finally gonna sit in the Hokage's chair. Hey, Minato? Do you think I'm really strong enough to protect the village? <laughs> Are you worried? In that case, why don't we spar? It's been too long, and it might help ease your mind. I suppose it would be a fitting test for a future Hokage. All right, Jiraiya-sensei. Let's fight. Let the battle begin! Let's go! Yo. 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 Just let's go! Yo. 
Thanks to you, Sensei. I feel relieved. Perhaps Jiraiya Sensei lost on purpose that day, to help me get over my doubts. Either way, he lifted a burden from my heart. Of course, the position of Hokage carried many responsibilities, but I'd never know if I could manage if I didn't try. And I wasn't alone. My teachers, friends, my charges, and of course, my loved ones. I was surrounded by so many irreplaceable people. Thanks to them, as Hokage, I would grow strong. My conviction, to walk the path of the Hokage was set. And then, he must have sensed my conviction, for the third Hokage challenged me to a match. I knew at once what that would mean. Lord Hokage, why do you wish to fight me? Come now, someone of your prowess should already understand that. Well then, show me what you can do. Okay. Let the battle begin! You won't escape! Just let's go! Is in 
Thank you very much, Third Hokage. Victory was mine. But victory was not what was necessary. I already understood that. Through his fists, the third Hokage was testing my will, my determination, and of course, the burdens I carried. After the fight, the third Hokage smiled at me gently before walking away. When I left that place, I left as the fourth Hokage. For me, my days as the Hokage were priceless. The smiles on people's faces made me truly happy. Their happiness was my happiness. But then, the Nine Tails appeared. His sudden attack threw the village into panic. We suffered terrible losses. I could sense that someone was manipulating the Nine Tails, and I spared no effort in discovering who. And then, Let the battle begin! Let's go! All right, let's go! What? Yeah. Oh. All right. Yeah. Let's go! Come get me! Let's go! I'm curious about this one's true shape, but right now, stopping the Nine Tails comes first. I was able, somehow, to repel the masked man's attacks, but to the bitter end, his confidence remained unflagging. Without a doubt, I knew he would yet bring future calamities to the world. In order to seal the Nine Tails, and to secure the power needed to resist the masked man in the future, only one route was left open to me. I would seal the Nine Tails into my son turning him into a Jinchuriki. My son had what it would take to brave the future as a Jinchuriki and to one day face that man. I don't know how I knew this, but for some reason I did. But that was the only thing that I could leave my son. All those aspirations which I had carried as the fourth Hokage, Naruto, I bequeathed them all to you. I know that you can do it. After all, you're my son. I believe in you. Madara Uchiha. What he did to my dad. <coughs> if I said I had no regrets, it would be a lie. Because of the mask, our village was destroyed. And as a result, 
left you all alone. But, to tell you the truth, at the time, I was completely content. <gasps> How come? Because I'd managed to protect what was most important to me. And what would that be? What do you think? You, Narito. <gasps> You're my son. In this world, there is nothing more valuable to me and your mother. You are very special. And you're alive and well. You can't imagine how much joy that brings to your mother and me. Now, you've got so many people counting on you, and you're moving forward with a will of iron. And for that, I'm proud of you. Listen to me. Your fight still isn't over. I know you have many trials and tribulations ahead. As your father, it saddens me that I can't go through them at your side. But Naruto, I believe in you. I'll just keep moving forward, no matter what happens. I'll never give up. I never go back on my word. That's my ninja way. After all, I am your son, right? Right. <laughs> I'm leaving the rest up to you. Dad! I guess it's about time. My chakras run out. What? You're going already? Cheer up, son. I'll always be with you. Remember what I said. You have the will of many inside you. Yeah. I'll always be at your side. Always supporting you. Together, always. Mm. Naruto, you were born as my son, and I thank you for it. Sasuke Uchiha, we need to talk. Kazikage. You block my fire style so effectively. Gara of the sand. Your eyes are still as they were in the past. Like you, revenge was once my reason for living. But I came to realize that vengeance does not resolve anything. It's not too late for you. Do not be so obsessed by hatred that you escape into a world of solitude, or else you will not be able to return. <laughs> if I were to return, what is there for me? Can I hold this? Firestock! Phoenix Flower 2! And shut! 
our barrage! Send! Sasuke, you're a lot like me. You've been walking through this world's darkness. That's why even a tiny ray of light ought to reach your eyes. Whether in the past or now. I shut my eyes a long time ago. The things I seek... Lie only in the darkness! Sand Burial! The hatred you once felt is nothing compared to what I'm feeling! hold only darkness now. You're consumed by hatred, a bitterness towards the world, and you're unable to trust anyone. You even rejected the one who tried to help you. You're exactly how I was. Amaterasu. When I was lost. In the depths of darkness. Alone in the darkness. No purpose, only to lash out in hatred. No friends, only solitude. That was me. That's how I was back then, during the Chunin exams at the Hidden Leaf. I believed the whole world was my enemy. I felt that only Sasuke Uchiha had that same something that I did. We were two of a kind. In the exam finals, I was matched up against Sasuke. It seemed as if I was finally fighting against one of my own kind. I was shaking with excitement. I was so overjoyed I could barely contain myself. Come then. Indeed. Show me how it feels to be alive. Let the battle begin. Here I come. Too slow. I miss. Use this one. I haven't had my fill yet.
The longer my battle with Sasuke continued, the more exalted I felt. But as my heart soared, Shikaku, the presence inside me, likewise grew ever larger. The urge to destroy grew strong, and I lost myself. That's when he appeared. Naruto Uzumaki. Though he held the same presence as me, he had chosen a different path. I had embraced hatred, while he had chosen the exact opposite. I'll never lose to you! Fascinating. Fascinating! Naruto Uzumaki! Let the battle begin! What's wrong with this one? Why does he challenge me so doggedly? No one can defeat me. Those who face my boundless power can only quake in terror and accept defeat. Or so I had thought. Again and again, Naruto Uzumaki stood back up to face me. Naruto fought for his friends, for the bond between them. The strength to protect others was a strength I couldn't understand. Not back then. But from a distance, I sensed the light. It was after that battle that I decided I wanted to be like Naruto Uzumaki. To forge my own bonds as Naruto had. To hold my own dreams as Naruto did. And before I knew it, my dream had become the same as Naruto's. To become someone needed by others, I began on the path to becoming the Kazekage. The path to Kazekage was steep and long, but like Naruto, I tried to look forward to the future and continue one determined step after the other.
hated and disdained. I knew that many had their eyes on me, waiting. But still, I looked forward. I walked forward. Time passed, and I grew stronger. I worked hard with all my strength, and then, before I knew it, I was known as the Kazekage. As the Kazekage of the Hidden Sand Village, I had already found those I needed to protect. Nothing frightened me any longer. Not when I had my village to protect. I remember that time when the shadow known as the Akatsuki fell on the hidden sand. I was not afraid. So you're the Kazakage, Gara the One Tail. Show me what you can do then, and try to make it fun, hmm? <laughs> If you threaten the hidden sand I've sworn to protect, I will destroy you. Let the battle begin! Sand! <laughs> No matter how tough the Akatsuki are, I'll protect the sand. My opponent used strange and surprising jutsu, but defeat was out of the question. He even attempted to use a massive jutsu to destroy the hidden sand, but I couldn't let him harm the village. The Akatsuki's real target was Shukaku, the beast sealed inside of me. By defending the village, I had fallen into their trap. I don't remember very well what happened next. Just that I was drifting in a sea of white. Then, faintly, I heard his voice. I opened my eyes, and Naruto was there. Naruto Uzumaki. He had saved me again. Even though I had once been his enemy, he saved me, and he did it with a smile. I understood then. For me, Naruto was light itself. He was irreplaceable. He was my friend. Which is why I just couldn't understand. 
Sasuke Uchiha, with Naruto by his side. Why? Why had he chosen the darkness? God, allow me to teach you too my hatred. Why, Sasuke? Tell me why. Let the battle begin! Take this! Think of it! Great transformation! Dark, heavy will. Sasuke, you are already. Sasuke had fallen even deeper into shadow than before. Pain meant nothing. His hate was now stronger than his flesh. His thirst for revenge made him unstoppable. My words couldn't reach Sasuke. It was too late for that. Give it up. I'm not finished yet. <laughs> the power of darkness. And that's what happened at the Five Kage Summit. <clears throat> Sasuke doesn't see you anymore. He seeks only darkness. <sighs> Naruto, you once declared to me that you would be Hokage one day. Well, I've become Kazekage. And if you truly have resolved to take on the mantle of Akage, 
then you must do what needs doing as Sasuke's friend. <clears throat> We've relayed everything we came to say. Let's go, Gaara. I consider you a friend. Before, friend was just a word to me. Nothing more, nothing less. But after meeting you, I realized something. That what that word means is important. Now you must decide for yourself. What you can do for your friend. For Sasuke. Let's go. Ah, Sasuke's already a lost cause. At this point, Naruto has no other choice but to give up. But still, <sighs> as bad as it is, I'm counting on it. Chances are slim. But I think maybe he can save Sasuke. Just as when he pulled me out of the darkness. As Kaze Kage, I can never forgive Sasuke. But as a friend, Naruto Uzumaki, I believe in you. I know you can do this. system didn't exist then. Ninja organizations were militia groups, divided by clan. In this world of constant strife, power was everything. The Uchiha clan was known all over the world as a warrior clan, with remarkable chakra and the Sharingan. And then there was the Senju clan of the forest, said to rival the Uchiha clan in strength. Their leader, Hashirama Senju, was the most powerful ninja of his time. Time and time again, the Uchiha and the Senju clans battled one another. However... This endless fighting threatened to destroy both their clans. Members of both sides who believed it would banded together and created a new organization. It was later known as the village hidden in the hills. Uchiha and Senju were always like oil and water, unable to work together. To Madara, this was obvious, but he was betrayed by the others and left the village. And then... Madara became an Avenger, and challenged the Hidden Leaf to battle.
worlds clashed in a battle to the death, one so world-shattering that it left the Earth itself scarred. And then... Mantra. I had lost to Osirama. Madara Uchiha had been defeated, but the fight is far from over. I had no choice but to spark a new battle. It had been Madara Uchiha's plan. Beneath the banner of the Akatsuki, the wicked ninja gathered. The goal of the Akatsuki was to capture the tailed beasts and their incredible chakra. One by one, they set out on their hunt to return with the spoils of battle. One, Daedara, who fights with detonating clay. His target is Gara of the Sand, Jinchuriki of the one tail Shukaku. Beyond the distant storms, an assault on the village of the Hidden Sand begins. Wielding his arts, Daedara challenges the Kazekage. So you're the Kazekage, Gara. I'm responsible for protecting this village. Don't imagine that you'll get away with this. <laughs> this looks like it's going to be fun, hmm? Let the battle begin! Okay, Kaze Kage, now I'm gonna take you someplace fun. Daedara's detonating clay rattled the Kaze Kage. In the end, he was successful in capturing the One Tail. However, this incident soon brought forth the Ninja of the Hidden Leaf, allies of the Sand Village. 
It was Sasori of the Red Sand who confronted them. His challengers were the Leaf Kunoichi Sakura Haruno and Sasori's own grandmother, Chio. Regret, resignation, and emptiness. As apprehension welled in their breasts, Sasori drew forth a scroll. Rejoice, you unworthy dogs, for you shall meet your end at the hand of the third Kazekage. No way! Sakura, stay calm. I'm here. Do at least try to entertain me. Let the battle begin! <laughs> You didn't even relieve my boredom. Sakura and Chio were hard pressed by Sasori's astounding prowess. The bitter fighting ended, however, with Sasori's defeat. For in the depths of Sasori's heart, a last vestige of feeling still remained. It was this emotion which led to the moment of weakness that brought him defeat. The Akatsuki's next move was to send Hidan and Kakuzu with their unique powers. To the Hidden Leaf Village, where the Nine Tails Jinchuriki Naruto Uzumaki awaited. These two immortals were able to enter the village despite all the Hidden Leaf's resistance. But waiting to greet them, along with his friends, was the strongest ninja of the Hidden Leaf, Kakashi Hatake. Eager to avenge his master, and with a glint of rage in his eyes, Shikamaru Nara challenged Hidan. And Hidan raised his voice in joy, ecstatic at the new sacrifice presenting itself before him.
Curses like chickens always come home to roost. You defeated my master. Can't just let you go on living, running around free. Lord Jashin, hear me. In the blink of an eye, this fool shall be no more! Let the battle begin! Yeah. Yeah. Oh no! What? Jerk! Oh, no. How's that? That was the best pain ever, wasn't it? Hidan was clearly the more powerful. His arrogance, however, led to carelessness and weakness, a weakness that did not escape Shikamaru. Hidan was defeated and buried beneath the earth. Kakuzu, meanwhile, was using his superior battle experience to push Kakashi, little by little, into a corner. The situation, however, changed suddenly. From out of nowhere, the Nine Tails Jinchuriki, Naruto Uzumaki, joined the fray, standing in Kakuzu's way. So, you're the Nine Tails Jinchuriki. I'm gonna finish this with my new jutsu! You've done us a favor by coming here. It saves us the trouble of finding you. Let the battle begin! Firestar! It's no... Uh, 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 uh,
No matter how powerful your jutsu, it can't beat my experience. The difference in experience between the two was overwhelming. Kakuzu's target seemed ready to fall. But in the end, Naruto was able to rally his strength and defeat Kakuzu, despite all of the latter's experience. From old roots, new buds had blossomed. The winds of history promised change. Change which could be seen even in places far removed from the hidden leaf. The Uchiha hideout, where Itachi and Sasuke Uchiha confronted each other. Brother against brother. Blood against blood. A stain upon the Uchiha name. Their battle was about to begin. My nightmare, it ends, finally, here, today. Itachi, it's time I buried you. <laughs> Even with those eyes of yours, you see nothing. Nothing at all. Let the battle begin! Right here, I've go. seen right through you. It's over. Fireball Jutsu! This is the end, Sasuke. With their very lives in the balance, the two fought. 
Itachi's skill far exceeded Sasuke's. But still Sasuke fought on, and at last Itachi bequeathed his final wishes to his brother. And then he fell. Itachi's death and the truth about his brother shook Sasuke to his core. His troubled thoughts led to hatred, and Sasuke Uchiha chose to walk the path of darkness. Meanwhile, as Sasuke made his decision, Jiraiya, one of the legendary Sanin, infiltrated the Hidden Rain village to gather information on the Akatsuki. There he met Konan, his apprentice from long ago, now working in secret with the Akatsuki. I can't believe you could sink so low as to join the Akatsuki. I wouldn't expect you to understand us, Sensei. After all, you belong to the past. It does not matter who you are. If you oppose the Akatsuki, I will destroy you. Let the battle begin! Here I come! You might as well be scrap paper. Shikigami died. Then here I come! You might as well be scrap paper. Here I come! You might as well be scrap paper. Shikigami died. I fight for one goal, only one. It did not matter that Jiraiya had once been her teacher. Conan attacked relentlessly, showing no mercy. At last, the Six Paths of Pain appeared and attacked Jiraiya. And he collapsed in the rain. It was already too late to halt the ambitions of the Akatsuki. Having defeated Jiraiya, Pain and Conan advanced at once on the Hidden Leaf to capture Nine Tails. The attack was sudden. Pandemonium swept through the Hidden Leaf, and the village fell quickly before Pain's might. All that remained in the Hidden Leaf were the wretched, sunk in despair, and the cold, bare earth. But there was one among them who still dared to turn his defiant wrath upon pain. That one, of course, was Naruto Uzumaki, the inheritor of the sage's strength. Naruto held an extraordinary spirit within him, but pain did not fear him. 
Pain possessed the Rinnegan, most powerful of the visual jutsu. He fixed his gaze on his target. And the battle between the god and the sage began. You brought ruin to our village! I'll never forgive you! However much you bay and howl, the truth of the matter will not change. Before this awesome might, the weak can do no more than panic and die. Your end is near. Let the battle begin! Let's see if this calms you down a bit, Nine Tails. Pain held the upper hand in this fierce battle. With his divine power, even Payne's roar was devastating. It seemed the Ninetales' capture was inevitable. But Payne, Nagato, was touched by the conviction of peace in Naruto Uzumaki's heart. In order to save the Hidden Leaf, Payne sacrificed himself. Though the Akatsuki's plans were forced to change, their mission of capturing the Jinchuriki continued. Their next target was the Eight Tails Jinchuriki, Killer B. Akatsuki sent Kisame Hoshigaki, known as the Tailless Beast, to capture the Eight Tails. So you're the Eight Tails, Killer B. I'm gonna make you weep, you sharky creep! Let's see just how much entertainment you can provide. Let the battle begin! Yo! Take this! Whoa. Now 
you can you <laughs> that octopus chakra was rather tasty. Though victory in the battle with Killer B went to Kisame and his shark skin. Just as he was poised to capture the beast, the Raikage intervened, interrupting the mission. However, the ringleader, the puppet master behind it all, Madara Uchiha, remained as calm as ever. All had been accounted for. All was going according to plan. Madara Uchiha's plan remained unshaken. It has taken many sacrifices to get this far. step and I'll need you to work for me as well I don't plan on becoming one of your sacrifices thank you <laughs> the fourth great ninja war will begin Here's nine tails as a major component. 
Let the battle begin! to be a rock star, check it out, yo! Let the battle begin! Hit him, go on! Open! You! Find out how to get some! Oh. You. Uh. Oh. Yo! <laughs> Yo! Oh. You! Find out how to get three! Find out how to get some! Yo! 
Eight tails, that be me, the rapping killer B for show. Let the battle begin! I obliterate, then y'all, I shall annihilate. The battle begin. Hey, I just I go. Hey! Hey! Oh! I 
just... Uh... Yo! Yo, my power's all a flash, with some still left in my stash.